It is the 16th of the 3rd, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality for today. Let's go ahead and get started on ENE News, just reading the headlines and going through. Fukushima internal contamination levels to rise in 5 to 10 years. Now they did some studies in Chernobyl, and uh, they're talking about the, the locals' ingestion, their internal radiation levels. Um, went down and then five to ten years later went right back up again kind of thing and they're expecting the same things to happen in Japan uh, that is an underestimation with uh, all the craziness that's going on in the food market in and around uh, Japan and the entire world right now black radioactive material being reported a hundred kilometers south of Fukushima Daiichi now this is a radioactive bacteria uh, that develops and mutates and gets real big and it blows all over the place. Uh, they found it far back as Chernobyl. Um, they did some studies back in 2007. I believe uh, a link is attached in the comments on this story on ENE News. Uh, you got to go through some of these comments. There are uh, some very intelligent people helping along with this whole subject all up and down the board. Thank you for everybody's help uh, who is helping. Reports from California, something is going badly wrong offshore, quote-unquote. Stranding center is inundated with animals. Now they're saying the seals and the sea lions, the baby pups, are coming up on and they're undernourished and they're small and they are in record numbers, more than El Nino ever wanted to be, uh, as far as the serious crisis situation going on on the west coast of the United States. We've got all this tsunami debris coming in with, uh, you've got to remember, it's not just the fallout from Fukushima, it's, it's the entire um, Japanese seaboard that was full of these chemical plants and these factories and, and all of these bad, nasty soup chemicals that have been washed um, out to sea by the tsunami and carried through the currents up along the United States of America. And they're saying um, these, these could get thick enough to actually clog harbors at times and that kind of thing and this problem is not going to go away for a very long time. So, uh, be advised if you're on the west coast of the United States, you know, I just stay out of that water altogether. Documentary shows simulation of Fukushima melt through footage of molten nuclear fuel and uh, simulation schmimulation. You know, we've had three confirmed uh, reactor melt throughs past containment and into the environment. TEPCO finds most polluted fish since Fukushima nuclear accident, a new record set at 740,000 becquerels per kilogram. And uh, they're saying it's harder and harder to find fish to test at all in the little harbor uh, that is Fukushima. Um, Daiichi nuclear power plant right there. TV, very concerned about radioactive contamination on tsunami debris heading to the United States and Canada. Floated through the worst of Fukushima fallout, and it will not wash off. Again, the tsunami debris floated through the worst of the Fukushima fallout, and it won't wash off these isotopes. Some of this debris is highly radioactive, so be very careful very careful on the west coast of the United States. Japan alerts the United States and Canada on possible clogging of shorelines. CNN, tsunami debris makes its way into Hawaii wildlife. Plastic spilling out of the stomachs of these albatross. The, um, some film crews went over to the Midway Islands, which is, you know, way out in the Pacific. And these poor albatross, um, are dying. I mean, their bellies are just full of this plastic crap. And again, it's and it's not just the Fukushima nuclear stuff. It's it's the melting pot. It's the stew of every chemical crap that was washed out to sea in the tsunami. Um, that's all turning into this big soup in this garbage patch that is out in the Pacific Ocean. Propaganda on U.S. radioactive tuna exposed. The stories have all one thing in common. That is not to panic. Uh, they're trying to compare apples to oranges, which is cesium-134 and 137, to potassium iodine you find in your banana. 
and, and saying those are comparable as far as your dosages. And again, I cannot stress enough, this accumulates every day. This little bit, this little bit, this little bit. A Japanese military unit severely contaminated when in Fukushima unit number three exploded. Two red radioactive to stand by each other uh, only further heightens the level. So apparently these six Japanese soldiers uh, got in a huge dose of the radiation after the number three explosion and their rates were so high they were told to get the heck away from each other um, because they were irradiating each other and it was dangerous for all of them to be in one place at one time their radiation levels were so high kind of thing that tends to happen when uh, nuclear things blow up Japan export uh, experts up to 93 billion becquerels a day may still be leaking into the Pacific from the Fukushima plants let me stress again they are estimating now this is a guess and you know their guesses are always low from 8 to 93 billion becquerels a day still leaking into the Pacific from Fukushima plants the insanity continues and will continue for several hundred thousands of years Caldecott California nuclear plant a time bomb if restarted chance of nuke disaster in US very high not if but when when was 311 11 <laughs> was it 99 nuclear accidents in the last how long safe and green is it scientists tap water could probably run a lawnmower it's real gas 500,000 times legal limit for benzene I've never seen such high levels Brockovich visits Illinois community and uh, there's a whole lot of craziness going on there she's become very popular lately I wonder if she's gonna run for office Fukushima woman I started to suffer health problems one after another just like the villagers around Chernobyl and this is just beginning kids this is just beginning hidden NOA animation shows ocean all along the US West Coast contaminated with Fukushima cesium by the end of March 2011 and again these are doctored numbers and uh, they are trying to hide the truth of the actual contamination of the entire planet now this all happened a couple years ago and it's been ongoing so uh, it's a wonder why they're acting the way they're acting now US government model of Fukushima cesium 137 particles covering the northern hemisphere and again these are light numbers sickened Alaska animals getting more tests for Fukushima radiation oozing sores bleeding swollen internal organs and hair loss now they've been studying and testing these um, poor animals since last year and those are just the stories we've been finding and uh, again they still won't come out with the exact numbers and we get a big shell game runaround on what's actually going on but uh, they can't hide it they can't hide it uh, man has teenagers over to play with nuclear reactor in his basement must wear radiation badges as young as seventh grade wants to restock news Indust uh, industries with uh, young employees of course there's a couple highlights I want to read off of this uh, as for the law uh, Granger is apparently in the clear because the f the fusion doesn't use radioactive fuel it falls under state regulations rather than the Federal Nuclear Regulatory Commission the Washington office of radiation protection did pay Carl a visit once after a neighbor raised some concerns about his nuclear reactor in his basement I wonder health physicist uh, Mike Brennan inspected the facilities he saw the safeguards the shielding and the radiation dose meters everyone wears I think it's not only safe but he's teaching safety so he, so culture of safety is is radiating out of his secret lab Wow, this guy spent all this money to have a little nuclear reactor so we can have teenagers over. Everything's under control, folks. Nothing to worry about here. Over to the Daily News. Uh, Fukushima Diaries got a few stories I want to cover today. 
salt made from Fukushima seawater sold in Western Japan. Uh, yeah, I wonder if they conducted the radiation test. I wonder. Uh, evacuee um, from the nuclear disaster was quoting, something yellow fell from the sky like large flakes of snow after the explosion. I will, of course, connect uh, the links to this story. Over 8,000 becquerels a kilogram measured from 18 schools in Yokohama. Newscaster to be hospitalized once again for recurring acute lipnatic leukemia. Now this guy was having Fukushima vegetables for a campaign of support by eating. And uh, it was suspected to have something to do with the radiation. Suspected? He's been eating uh, Fukushima produce and wonder why he's got leukemia. Uh, where was that one? Japan government to postpone the genomic analysis for Fukushima people at, for ethical matter. Fish is decreasing in Fukushima plant ports and uh, fallout levels keep it on increasing. The highest levels since last April, now this is in Fukushima prefecture, Fukushima um, city is increasing trend since last December and has become the highest since uh, April 15th of 2012 and they've doctored these machines and doctored these machines so uh, the insanity continues of course if my if I've missed anything uh, please let me know attach your comments or videos below uh, remember to uh, enjoy what you can have fun today thanks <laughs>